Seven months after the spacecraft's first mission ended in an exploding disaster, Elon Musk's next-generation Starship exploded less than 10 minutes into its second test flight after detaching from its main booster rock. The SpaceX capsule, which is intended to conduct lunar missions and is strapped to a super-heavy booster twice as powerful as the rocket that carried men to the moon, launched on an unmanned test flight on Saturday just after 1 p.m. UK time. As the spacecraft approached the edge of the Earth's atmosphere eight minutes into the 90-minute trial, Mission Control lost communication with a rocket explosion occurred when it was 148 kilometers, 91 miles above Earth, according to live footage that was streamed on X, the former Twitter. But an hour after the rocket burst, Musk wrote on X, expressing his congratulations to the SpaceX team, of which he is chairman, CEO, and chief technical officer. Congratulations, team at the rate SpaceX team. During a live broadcast on Elon Musk's social media platform X, SpaceX engineer John Innsbrucker stated, We have lost the data from the second stage. We might have lost the second stage. What we do believe right now is that the automated flight termination system on the second stage appears to have triggered very late in a burn, Innsbrucker continued, hinting that the rocket might have self-exploded as a precaution. The test flight was hailed by the corporation as incredibly successful, though, since it allowed the module to successfully complete the crucial hot staging separation from its booster rocket, which it had been unable to accomplish in April. Such an incredibly successful day, even though we did have a rapid and scheduled disassembly of both the super heavy booster and the ship, SpaceX's Kate Tice stated during the live stream. We have an abundance of data that will help us make improvements for our next flight. Only seven months had passed since the ship blew up on its maiden voyage in April, four minutes after takeoff. Musk, the company's biggest shareholder, personifies the Silicon Valley tech motto, move fast and break things, in the way he handles SpaceX. Congrats to the teams who achieved progress on today's flying test, wrote NASA Administrator Bill Nelson on X. Spaceflight is an audacious endeavor that calls for fearless creativity and a can-do attitude. The test of today is an opportunity to grow, then soar once more. Before the flight, Starship was loaded with 4,500 metric tons, 10 million pounds, of rocket propound. SpaceX launched Starship from its Starbase location on the Gulf of Mexico, close to Boca Chica, Texas, at precisely 7 a.m. in Texas or 3rd January 2005 p.m. UK time. It took off amid thunderous applause from Mission Control. Within 30 seconds, it was reaching top speeds of 500 km per hour, 310 miles per hour. The combined launcher and spacecraft reached a speed of nearly 3,300 km per hour, 2,000 miles per hour, and altitude of over 40 km, 25 miles, in less than two minutes. The booster successfully detached from the main module, which would transport people in an actual flight, three minutes after liftoff. About three and a half minutes into the mission, the second stage rocket successfully separated from its super heavy rocket booster, making it a more successful flight than its first, which exploded four minutes after liftoff. Thirty seconds later, the booster burst in what SpaceX describes as a rapid and scheduled disassembly. Despite this, the Starship proceeded at over 24,000 km per hour, nearly 15,000 miles per hour, into the suborbital atmosphere. About eight minutes into the webcast, there seemed to be a loss of contact as the live feeds showing the module's altitude, speed, and rocket outputs abruptly stopped. Ground Control reported they had lost communication with the ship around two minutes later. According to SpaceX, a flight issue led the ship's onboard computer to decide to self-destruct. It had been roughly 87 miles, 140 kilometers above. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration stated that there have been no reports of injuries or property damage, but that an accident did occur that resulted in a loss of the vehicle. The government stated that it will supervise an inquiry into the testing mishap, which will be led by SpaceX, and that it will have to approve SpaceX's strategy to make sure it doesn't happen And If something was wrong, which clearly there was, then the computer would have destroyed the vehicle at the earliest opportunity so the debris came down over the Atlantic Ocean, stated Jonathan Amos, the science correspondent for the BBC.
A rapid and planned disassembly caused a rocket to explode four minutes after liftoff on Starship's maiden mission in April, raising great hopes for the test flight. That time, the objective was to reach 90 miles into the atmosphere before landing in the Pacific Ocean. This time, the idea is to do the same and land shortly off the coast of Hawaii after a brief coasting phase. The company's chair, CEO, and chief technological officer, Elon Musk, anticipates that Starship will serve as the company's flagship model for future missions that will eventually take it back to the moon and eventually to Mars. According to novelist Walter Isikshin, who recently released his biography on The Millionaire, he witnessed it carrying up to 100 people to Mars. A 400-foot rocket must first accomplish what its first flight was unable to accomplish and what its second flight might not have been able to accomplish. It must reach the absolute edge of Earth's atmosphere without exploding itself to pieces. Musk also owns X, the former Twitter, where a live stream was started with the disclaimer, this is definitely a test, even though it's not happening in a lab or on a test stand. The work we're undertaking now will yield priceless information for Starship's continued rapid development. The rocket burst 25 miles into the sky on April 20, a failed test flight that resulted in the booster failing to detect. April 20 is known as 420ths in America, which has become an internet joke and a reference to cannabis culture that Musk has previously discussed. Four minutes into the first test flight, SpaceX was forced to abort it because the rocket was spinning dangerously out of control. The rocket landed in the Gulf of Mexico, causing a dust cloud to blow across a village several miles away. The event was referred to by the corporation as a rapid and scheduled disassembly, which sparked internet memes and cheers. However, Kate Tice of SpaceX noted, everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake while speaking during the test flight. Later, it was discovered that Starship's engines and processors were harmed by an internal fire that occurred during the launch, which also destroyed the Boca Chica launch pad and resulted in a 3.5-acre scrub fire. As a result, the spacecraft veered off track. Furthermore, it took 40 seconds longer for the rocket to automatically send out a self-destruct command when it realized that its flight was not progressing as planned. Additionally, the business is well known for its comparatively quick test rocket launches, which is consistent with Musk's adoption of the tech industry's move fast and break things mantra, which was initially advocated by Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. After a month's long study into the first unsuccessful excursion, the Federal Aviation Administration authorized SpaceX for its second Starship mission on Wednesday, finding 63 corrective steps SpaceX needed to make. SpaceX reports that it has enhanced autonomous systems that ought to have activated the destruct command earlier and significantly increased Starship's fire suppression capabilities. It also claims to have strengthened the launch pad with flame deflectors and added a hot stage separation system connecting Starship to the super heavy booster, going against the FAA's guidelines. For SpaceX to continue offering reusable, reasonably priced space travel, Starship is essential. In an attempt to save costs, the rocket boosters and all is made to be fully reusable after returning to Earth, in contrast to the Saturn V rocket that carried humans to the moon. In the contemporary space race, NASA is counting on Musk's company to deliver rockets that will enable it to send people to the moon before China. For a modified Starship to be prepared for a scheduled lunar landing in 2025, time is running out as it returns passengers to Earth and supplies to the International Space Station. SpaceX is already a major player in the space industry. Musk, on the other hand, is juggling a lot these days because big sponsors have stopped supporting X because the businessman agreed with an anti-Semitic statement on the social media platform he purchased a year ago. Big businesses like Disney, Apple, and ID giants like IBM, Oracle, and Xfinity have stopped running advertisements on the website after U.S. media watchdog Media Matters discovered that their ads were running next to anti-Semitic messages. After Musk responded to a user who shared an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory by informing them they were speaking the actual truth, Apple apparently stopped funding its advertisements.
the disputed article asserted that Jewish communities have been promoting dialectical hatred against whites, alluding to the Great Replacement conspiracy theory that is well-liked by far-right and white nationalist organizations. Musk has threatened to launch a thermonuclear lawsuit against Media Matters in retaliation for the piece, claiming that it carried out a fraudulent attack against X. In a statement that accompanied his tweet, Musk said that Media Matters had tricked the website's algorithms to display 13 times as many advertisements in users' feeds. We will not allow agenda-driven activists, or even our own profits, to deter our vision, the statement continued. The user experience on X is not reflected in Media Matters. Nonetheless, after Musk paid $44 billion to acquire the network as Twitter in October of last year, some analysts claim that X has developed into a haven for hate speech. In April 22, he made an offer to purchase the business for that price, $54.20 a share, ostensibly alluding to the popular 420s meme. However, he attempted to back out of the agreement and ended up going to court based on a valuation of the shares that Musk issued to staff members last month. X is currently valued at less than half of the $19 billion that he paid for it. By giving the far-right group Britain first a gold check mark indicating that it is an official organization, and by bringing back celebrities like Tommy Robinson, who had been banned by the site's previous owners, X has courted controversy in the UK. In the months after Musk purchased the website and pledged to transform it into a sanctuary for free expression, a large portion of the trust and safety team, which is in charge of content management on the platform, was let go. Nevertheless, hate messages have proliferated under Musk, according to the Center for Countering Digital Hate, CCDH, a U.S. and London-based anti-hate speech research group, and reporting hate speech on the site is unlikely to result in its removal. X has filed a lawsuit alleging that the CCDH is promoting internet censorship. Musk, on the other hand, is concentrating entirely on Starship's launch later today. Getting back to productive issues, Starship Flight 2 launches in six hours, he wrote in an early Saturday morning post on X.